Hello and welcome back to Magic Knight Ray Earth. Let's see how this goes. Oh, this is odd. The road looks a bit different than it was before. Yeah. Well, it is a mysterious forest after all. Which way should we go now? Well, whatever way we can go, let's go. Okay. Let's hit that start button. Ah. Record events in your diary, which I imagine is uh, saving. Yep, eternal RAM and cartridge RAM. When do you want to save in ROM? Or no, yeah. Or no, you wouldn't be able to save in ROM. But still, RAM is kind of not permanent. Uh, no items. Spoken consolation with Chef. Er, Clef. If you obtain temporary weapons from Prisha, head to the spring at once. Fortress of Silence can play tricks on your mind. Don't become lost within this maze. Got it. And settings. Yay. Alter button arrangement. Ooh. Maybe. So A and L. Yeah, that version. Okay. Like we can dash just yet, must we move around a bit. And we can't fight right here. Also, we can read our notes. My school went to the Tokyo Tower today on a field trip. The observation deck was so high, and everything below looked so tiny. Is it corny that I was excited about going there? Yes. Out of nowhere, a flash lit up the sky. And when I blinked, I was floating over a magical world called Sephiro, along with Umi and Fu, two girls I had just met. Then, a boy named Clef told us of our destiny as magic knights. I'm confused, but excited. <laughs> Another strange thing happened. This evil woman named Alcyone attacked us. And when I went to attack her, I suddenly had command of this fiery magic blast. I was surprised, but I think Alcyone was blown away. Literally. <laughs> anyway, I worry about Clef. But like Fu said, we have to keep moving forward. For Clef's mm -hmm. sake. Mm. I met a long-eared creature named Mokona in a huge mansion in the forest. What a cutie! We became fast friends. We also met Precia, who told us to find something called a Scudo at the Eterna Spring. Since we have no choice, I guess that's what we're doing. Okay. So that tells us what we're up to. Well, this is the direction we came from last. Okay, got a sword swipe. Okay, your weapon is a little longer. But your weapon is way longer. Well, I guess it takes a longer time. So... Um... Ow.
the moment does kind of seem a little superfluous. We've got a gem. Hmm. Yeah. can't bear to watch this pathetic display of swordsmanship any longer. Surprise someone, isn't a good manner to state your name first, rude boy? <laughs> uh, well, I never thought of it. Uh, sorry. Anyway, I, the magnificent Pharaoh, saved your life. Why are you so ungrateful? I don't mean to seem ungrateful. I apologize. My name is Kuru. My name is Umi. And I am Hikaru. This is the forest of silence. Magic can't be used here. Ah. That's word, the place is crawling with monsters. Yep. Your sword skills are not up to snuff. Coming here is an easy way to get your sweet selves killed. Are you implying that we're sissies? I don't know what a sissy is, but I am saying you need help. Big, beefy, hunter hunk type help. Like myself. Oh my. Say, how about you hire me as your bodyguard and guide you? I'll be out of here in a flash. What do you think? See my skill with sword? I know this force like the back of my hand. Do you work cheap? Well, actually I mean to say, do you work free? You see, uh, we don't have any money. I ask for an exchange my service is food. I haven't eaten for weeks. Food? Better? You can do that. Makona will supply you with all you, you can ask for. Wait a minute, Hikaru. How can you be so careless with this stranger? For all we know, Pharaoh could have tied us as a god. Have you ever considered that? If that were the case, why would he have saved us from that monster? could be a trap to get us to trust him. I saw that in a movie once. But if we let him travel along with us, we've got a chance of getting out of here alive. We have decided we won't be needing a bodyguard, so if you don't mind, we'll be on our way now. Besides, we generally don't trust hunters hiding near monster nests. Uh, did I say that? So you're saying you lied to us? Listen, sister, I'm more of a swordsman, but hunter is not a stretch. Never mind, have you heard of a man called Zagat? He's said to have captured Princess Emerald. Been pursuing him up till recently, and I was nearly captured. Fought my way into this forest, and now I can't seem to find my way out. Now do you see, Fu? Maybe we should ask for his help after all. Yeah, but he's such a loser. I mean, he's lost, for heaven's sake. He did say he knew his, uh, this forest, now he admits he's lost, too. First, tell us a plain lie, and now you expect us to take you at your word. Jeez, you three are way too suspicious. Fine, have it your way. Don't hire me. If you insist. But that doesn't mean I can't trail you lovely ladies on my own. Huh? Oh, why not? Whatever. I'm getting a headache. Okay, well, we've got a party member. Doesn't really appear, but that's perfectly fine. You have all different diaries? Yes, oh my god. Oh, uh, th these are going to be separate videos.
Because, yeah, I, I could see us getting uh, very lost in... going through everyone's notes about what's happened. Hurting us at the moment. Well, let's see what's down here first. back home. Okay, let's see what's down here. Oh, swordsman. Open the two chests by spinning aside for red and purple rainbow amulets. Okay, I guess I just need to find a... Ah. So you guys actually do damage. How much you want to bet? Purple rainbow amulet. Collect them all and something good will happen. Yep. Found a red rainbow amulet. Touch them all and something good will happen. Okay. Look at this. What's up with this arrow? Okay. Ah. Let's see. All the sign. Heal us. Good to know. Ha! Ah, just as I expected. You don't know the way around this place either, do you? Your sarcasm's not gonna help us any. Maybe Makona knows the way through. Maybe you should have thought of that before we got lost in this stinking forest. Hikaru. And you, shush up. It's bad enough you're following us around again against our will. Well, excuse me, princess. An immense request coming from someone so feral. 
Hey, I think that was some kind of insult. No need to get so hostile. But, okay, I'll be quiet. At least until we get out of this stinking jungle. Okay. Might as well take a break. I don't think I really have a choice. All this walking around is killing my heels. Could this day possibly get any worse? Nothing we can do. May as well stop and refresh ourselves. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. Makona, can we have some snacks? Oh, I think we should let Pharaoh eat with us. I mean, he's been fighting besides us. I don't know, he's so very rude. Alright, I'll bring the food out to him still. I think you're much too trusting. <laughs> Ground meat. Huh? Oh, it's you. Kara thought you might be hungry, so I brought you some more food. Enjoy! Wait a minute. Please come back. I could use some company. Company is all you require. I'm certainly Makona. Ah, oh, come on, give me a break, okay? You've been playing it tough with me since the first time we met. Well, yeah. Certainly try my best. Look, just listen to my story before you leave. Outside this forest lies the fountain of Eternia. Have you heard of it? What? I used to be a traveling entertainer. One day I was invited to Emerald Castle. I was walking around the uh, place and admiring the many treasures, and I was only looking. But then the castle guards thought otherwise, accused me of theft, threw me in jail. When he freed me, was Princess Emerald herself. As a gift, she gave me the orb that I was admiring so dearly. Basically, she saved my life. Oh, the princess my soul, and I will do anything and everything I can to free her. Said if you journey to Eternia, you can obtain the power of the Magic Knights. Huh? And that's why I'm going to find the fountain. I need the power found within its pristine water to save Princess Emerald. That's beautiful, Pharaoh. I feel so ashamed about how I acted. So now do you like me? Huh? How rude. You made up that entire story, didn't you? I don't know. What do you think? I... well... You'd be in your best interest to believe me. Besides, you're cute when you're confused. Very cute. I'm gonna keep you that way. Oh, oh god. Listen here, Hunter. We don't need your help. We do not need a bodyguard. We will find the exit, and I know we can. I, uh, I think we can. You're new at this flirting thing, aren't you, Fousey? Check it out! Looks like a laser beam's coming from the jewel on Makona's forehead. I think I know just what the beam's pointing at. It's the exit! Come on, let's hurry. Oh, wait up! Haven't you ever heard of an ambush? I was growing tired of waiting for your magic knight wannabes. Uh, Halcyon! Halcyon! Magic knight? Can you hear me, Pharaoh? What are we gonna do, Hikaru? It's cut up pretty badly. Oh, Pharaoh. No use entering the forest of silence and hunting you down without my magical powers. And I can wait for you, Brad, to stumble outside and slay you to my leisure. You're not slaying anyone, you witch. You're the one who used magic against me. Or you're the one who used magic against me. Pray that you have the power to back up that impudent little mouth of yours. You'll need to defeat a student of cleft and a servant of Princess Emerald. A servant of Princess Emerald? Are you trying to kill us? Are you know that is on the verge of collapse? Princess Emerald is at the tie that binds together the fabric of the world. She was kidnapped by the evils of God and... Still your tongue, child. I know how the story goes. 
Master the God is very good about keeping me informed. He's far more important than the weak-minded tramp you call a princess. Oh my. Let your girl fight alone. Essence, uh, er, Halcyon will kill her. You can't use magic. Without my magic, how can I save her? What do I do? <laughs> Umi, can you hear me, Umi? Clef? Yes, Umi. I'm using Makoma's magic here. Yes, Umi. I'm using Makoma's magic directly into your heart. You're alive. You're okay. I thought you were. Umi, listen carefully. Prepare. Determination is the greatest power of all. Ah. Uh -huh. If you want to save Hikaru, you must concentrate on your thoughts, your prayers. I want to help Clef. Show me a magic so I can save Hikaru. Can you sense it? The power within you? Unlike anything you've ever experienced? I can feel it. Strange words are appearing in my mind. That is your magic. Embrace it! the really good spells, then. That hurt you, wretched little wench. That hurt a lot. Hey, I've won this battle. The next time, I'll soak the soil with your blood. Thank you, Umi. It was my pleasure. Better check on Ferio. Ferio, Ferio, please say something. So, it's true. You really are the magic knights. Ferio, please hold on. I don't know what I'd do if... Why'd you try to save me, you silly, rude, beastly little boy? Oh, that was her. And to think you tried to fire me. To think you tried to fire me. Ferio, speak to me. Can't let this happen. We have to save Ferio. I, I have to. <coughs> have you forgotten, fool? In Sephiro, you, the power of your heart is the greatest of all. You can overcome the largest obstacle, the darkest evil. Magic Knights of Ancient Lore. Amazing! Fantastic! Ferio. Ferio, we were summoned by this world by the uh, Princess Save Sephiro. Give me a clef, the best magician in all of Sephiro. Yes, that's when Kara relates the story to Ferio. All makes sense now. Legends of Folding form my eyes. When a dark cloud arises over the heart of Sephiro, those who are summoned uh, from beyond will become the legendary Magic Knights and call upon the power of the machines. Grandpa told me that tale when I was very young. Clef told me a bit about that, too. Why do the Magic Knights have to come for another world? I really don't understand that part, either. I'll tell you the truth. Grandpa kind of skipped over it, and I was too young to think to ask. But it doesn't matter now that the Magic Knights are alive and in Kasparo. I'll just have to find another way to rescue Princess Emerald. That's all. Oh, Ferio. You're an idiot. Shall meet again, Foo. Very soon, I hope. I don't know, it's me. It seemed like a total scammer. See ya, Fario. Oh, honestly, let's just go. Foo? What's wrong, Foo? No, really. It's nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, then why are you blushing? I am not. And Moise. What? Enough of that, you two. Let's go. Yes, we uh, shouldn't waste our time talking about this. Uh, Fu, exit this way. That girl's got it bad. Hope he's not the weasel I think he is. Yeah, the exit is north, but... I think before we finish this... Uh huh.
you found a heart jewel. Increase one character's hit points. Who will use it? Karu, Umi, or Fu? Um, probably a Hikaru. Hikaru gave one hit point. You found a magic jewel. Place one character's magic point. We'll use it. My healer. Who gained a hit point? Or a magic point? Okay. So, when we come back, folks, more Magic Knight Ray Earth. Have a good one, folks.